So moving now uh, again back into DHIS2 and how to get these applications into a DHIS2 instance and, and used in production. Uh, we have made a significant improvements to the app management application within DHIS2. So if I go back to my DHIS2 instance and I go to the app management application, you can see that this has also been significantly improved uh, in terms of the user interface, what you can uh, see about different applications. You can also search the app hub directly from within your DHS2 instance and see that same information about each application, the different versions that are available uh, in uh, within the context of a uh, the app management app in DHS2. You can upload manual apps to manually install. And importantly, you can also see the uh, versions of a particular application that have new versions available. So if I install an older version, let's say I install an older version of this app management app, refresh this. If I go back to this, I can see that app management is on version 100.2.6. Uh, and if I click in there, I have a, a simple way to update this, uh, this application which is a core application developed by the University of Oslo. I can update that to the latest version and it is immediately installed into my system. I can then also uninstall it. And importantly for core applications, you can update individual core applications that might come bundled with DHS2 when it's first installed. And if you uninstall that application, it will roll back to the version that was bundled before. So it's very easy to roll back if something happens with a particular version or you're not happy with, with the way it's working for your users or something like that, you can very easily change the version that's installed in your system uh, and, and quickly do that. So there's been a number of improvements there in the app management application in terms of the, the user interface. And as I mentioned, the versions of the core applications that are built by the University of Oslo and deployed typically with DHIS2 when it's first installed uh, are now going to be released on a more regular schedule. And you can see within the app management application, you can see which versions of uh, different core applications that you have in your system have a new version available that is compatible with the DHIS2 server version you're running. So if you're running 237, you can see that there might be a new version of the browser cache cleaner application that can be installed into your system. Uh, and then you can very easily with a single click in that app management application, update the version of your browser cache cleaner. Um, this allows us to release core applications independently of the, uh, the server versions. And it also allows implementers to update versions of applications without upgrading their server, which can be quite a, an expensive and time consuming operation. As I mentioned, app updates can also be easily rolled back and the core applications will be released on a more regular or more, uh, more frequent schedule than the server versions that are released by the University of Oslo.